Hi guys, quick one today. I'm going to show you how to print, sign, and scan something when you don't have a printer or a scanner. The two things you will need, your phone and Photoshop. Let's get to it. Okay, step one. Photograph a piece of blank white paper and then send it to your computer. Now in Photoshop, open that document. All right, so here's our photo of the piece of paper. Now we need to open our PDF document in Photoshop. Open it in high enough resolution because it's vector. It's converting everything to a bitmap. Okay, now select all, copy, close, don't save. And Command V, paste it on in. There we go. Now we need to scale this to make it fit on our page. So if we open our PDF document, you can see sort of the spacing around. We want to make it match the same. So back in our Photoshop document, Command T, and we will scale this to fit. Now you don't just scale it down straight square. You need to adjust the proportions to match the layout of the paper. So the first thing we're going to do while it's in this mode, Command, click the corners, and adjust so that they're in line with each other. Because this would have printed straight on the piece of paper. You want to imitate that as close as possible. Now, in our opacity layer, we're taking it to multiply. You can see how the paper here is actually a bit warped when I took the photo. That's good because it gives you a chance to edit it even further. You can see how this line and that bottom bit doesn't quite match up with the curves. So when we go there, edit, transform, warp. Now you're gonna be able to tweak the corners to actually match that line. Tweak it so that it's matching perfectly. Down this side, up this side, so you're actually matching that curve at the bottom of the page. And same too, anything on the side. Now you can see that line's curving real well. The other thing I noticed on this, there's a red bit of text here, but that red is a bit too bright for a print. I'm going to hue and saturation and to reds. And I'm taking this down so it's not so intense. Remember, it has to look printed. You can see there's highlights and shadows and ripples on this piece of paper. For advanced points, you can actually lighten your text in those areas and darken them in, in others. So what I do here is I simply go to the Erase tool and take down my opacity to maybe 40%. And in the areas where it is lighter, where there's some highlights, I go through and brush through on my layer mask so that it's actually lightening the letters. It's just sort of making it imperfect. That looks good there. I'm gonna keep this. So the next step, you can see it's a bit too clean, right? This is printed, so we need to actually go back into filter, blur, motion blur. We're running east to west because that's how it was printed. Uh, adjust accordingly depending on what you need. Hit OK. And now we're going to go back into noise and add noise. Don't want it too clean. It has to be a bit distorted. See what works for you. Gaussian, monochromatic, or not. Looking good. So we can see down here now, these are the four blanks I need to fill in with handwritten data. So on another piece of paper, you write down all these things in your own handwriting. Photograph it close up, ideally in the same lighting conditions that you photographed the blank piece of paper. Send that file to your computer and open that in Photoshop. I'm going to actually crop it down to just what I need here. Copy, close, don't save, and paste it into this file. So in order to tweak this out so that when you do multiply, the background drops out completely and just leaves you your dark text. Open Levels, 
get your white eyedropper and then click on the paper background and try to get all of it so the whole thing is gone. Now if you want to as well, just to be super clear, if you take the eraser, you can go around and get rid of all these sharp edges. Okay, now I'm going to set it to multiply and it's going to get rid of that white on the background and now I'm going to scale it down so that what I wrote fits pretty close to what is there. Looks good there. So now I wouldn't have written it like this had I actually been writing on there. So to adjust that, I got my marquee tool. I'm going to drag this to where it would probably have been had I written it. And again, moving this one. And what I need to do is levels again. Didn't actually fully get rid of everything down here. That's looking better. This looks a bit rich. I'm going to actually tone it down a bit so that it looks more on the page. All right, that's good. So there we are. That's our final piece. We've got the text in there. We've blurred it, we've added some noise, make it look like it was actually printed. We've got all our information in the right place, in the right order, scaled down so it looks like we actually signed it. And the colors are tweaked a bit so that it looks like it was printed. Now we're just going to save that. When we're saving it, don't change this. You want them to believe it was a photo. Now here's the last trick, and that is making it intentionally a bit crappy. If you take the quality down so that you actually start seeing the JPEG artifact around, it really sort of embeds everything into the one document because it's all consistently blurry and crappy. So that's maybe a bit far. I'll take it to six or eight. And there we go. So there's our JPEG saved, ready for upload. All right, that's it. I hope this was helpful. We will see you in the next one.